There's the witch. That's so cool. Well, hello there. We are gonna change this to become a push button switch for kids to push on that pillar right there. And how we're gonna do it is a simple $12 little push button from Amazon. So. One of the problems that people are coming up with is that every time you turn this thing on, it defaults to the try me. And it goes, it just, it just, you could have it on sensor and it'll go down to try me. So every night when this thing comes on, it just automatically goes to off. I tried it three different times and it just automatically goes to off. Um, it's definitely a design flaw. I've got the little sensor hanging down right here. So it does actually catch some cars. I'm a probably 50 feet away. 30 feet away from the fence probably another 10 feet to the actual road where cars would be when people are walking by right there you can't see it there it doesn't it doesn't see them it'll see this it'll see this flapping in the wind and when i had it up in her chest it would catch her um hair and like like right now it's windy so we constantly go off because her hair is right there in front of the sensor and then this thing would also catch it too so I was like, well, I don't want that to happen because I don't want, I, it's windy here a lot. And I know like, you know, we got Chicago people, it's windy there every day. So I want kids to be able to push the button and make her talk instead of it going off every five seconds and just constantly going off or not going off at all. So, oh, I just knocked over one of my fence sticks. Anyways, so on the ball, I had to look this up. I totally forgot it was here. On your power thing, on the bottom of the, you know, your power, your power cord, on the bottom is this little port right here that is covered up and it actually says try me so that's where your headphone jack will go so i went on to amazon and i found this really cool looking switch look it's even green for halloween they make a red one too but this is waterproof as well or water at least water resistant it does have this gasket in here that will keep water out and oh, when i move to texas i'm going to have a little studio <laughs> for doing how-tos. So I'm not doing this on the garage floor. Uh, so it does come with this this uh, cool box. And the box has side ports and I think two on the bottom. Yeah, so there's several punch outs that you can do much like an electrical box uh, at home. You may even be able to go right through those little, there's little holes down there. You might be able to go straight through those instead of uh, maybe drill through them. I don't know. So I'm just going to go through one of the edges, one of the ends here. Um, so what I did was I found an old, um, actually, I didn't find it. My friend Darren uh, gave me this um, old push button, uh, try me button. But this would also work with the step pads or the new try me buttons at Spirit. So the Spirit, if you don't have one of these laying around, the Spirit tr uh, step pads and try me buttons are for sale at Spirit. So you can just buy one of those throw away the button uh you can you can keep the button if you want and just add this but you're gonna have to extend this cable especially if your witch is somewhere deep inside the yard like mine um so all you do is you take the red and the black wire make sure it's a two wire plug you know cord uh and i put the red into three and the black into four supposedly it doesn't matter because all you're doing is completing the circuit see how that little thing goes in there when you push the button you're just completing the circuit um so that's how this works. So I, I believe you could do it either way. Um, so then we're just going to take this out. We're just going to take this outside. And we're going to, so we're going to plug the try me button right into this. And then we're going to touch this. Halloween charms and magic are in the air. Come join me for a spell. Ah! And we can brew you into something. <laughs> so then she turns off and I'm gonna hit the button again and there it goes <laughs> so um, I'm going to take this cord and I'm gonna splice in more cord um, we'll wait for her to top I'm also gonna add a piece of insulation to her mouth so you can't hear it very much you can't hear that flapping um, 
So uh, with with this type of thing, the longer, sorry, with this type of um, cord, the longer you do it, the less, um, uh, possibly, the less uh, conductivity you're going to get from that far. So use a little bit thicker wire than what's on here. Uh, you can use like an 18 gauge. You could even use speaker wire. Um, and then that will in, that will ensure that the load, th there really isn't a load. All you're doing is, I mean, there is a load from here that is being activated when you push the button, but it's a very light load. So it's not, it doesn't need to have a lot of, um, you're not r r running lights and stuff with this. So, but it's, it's, you probably have wire that's thicker this laying around. So find your wire, splice it into this and run it to wherever you want it to go. So my wife's going to make a cool sign that'll say something like, Press the witch switch and let her talk and make her talk or something. I like witch switch. I think I think that's kind of cool. So um, later on tonight, this will be active in the in the yard display. So now kids can kids and adults can uh, press the button and make the witch talk. So, All right. So here's the final placement of the switch. Um, I put it behind. You know, I put I put a a hand there. Um, I'll probably do something a lot cooler when I get to Texas um, with this, but this is really cool for this year. Um, so as you can tell, I put the, the wiring right there. Uh, and so now, there's the witch. That's so cool.